Hey, how are you? Ready for a fresh start for this new year? Guess what? Me too. In a previous video that I strongly invite you to look at if you haven't done it so, so we talked about the three main drivers of the energy demand in Africa. And what was very clear is that this demand is only set to grow, right? And to fill the gap, we need all together an energy mix. And I strongly believe that renewable should and will play a big part of it. So, you may be asking yourself, beside the obvious emotional aspect, what rational arguments support this view? Well, this is precisely what we're going to talk about in this video. But before we do so, have you subscribed to our channel yet? <laughs> if no, please do so. But if yes, great job. So, do make sure you also press the bell to be notified of new video and also leave a comment and share it if you like it. Hello everybody, I'm Tony Tew, the founder and CEO of Renewables in Africa, your Africa clean energy champion. So whether you are a business, an investor or a professional, our channel is providing you with the right knowledge the right insight and solutions about the sector for you to take the right informed decision and make the right move. Renewable energy is today a very trendy topic with more and more investment flowing into the sector. So if you make an exception of 2020, which was obviously a year impacted by the COVID-19 crisis, the last five years slow, right? We have 600 billion dollar per year that have been invested into the sector. To give you a perspective, this is about 1.5 times the size of the Nigerian economy. So what makes renewable as attractive? I was like, yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm only joking. But let me give you three fundamental reasons. Let's start with the money. We better be honest with ourselves. The main reason businesses and consumers will ever switch to renewables and investor will accept to inject their hard-earned cash into clean energy projects is if they make sense for them financially. And fortunately, they do. Yes! Not only do costs continue to decline for solar and wind power technologies, but new projects are increasingly being commissioned at a very low absolute cost level. How does it compare with traditional power, would you say, right? Well, in 2019, 56% of newly commissioned utility scale renewables power plant provided electricity at a lower cost than the cheapest new fossil fuel option. And that's impressive. Considering that in 2010, a solar power project cost was about eight times the cheapest fossil fuel option. Now it's all reverse. And you see on the figure that solar project to be commissioned in 2021 could have an average price of just 39 cents per kilowatt hour. This represents a 42% reduction compared to the solar PV in 2019 and more than 20% less than the cheapest fossil fuel competitors, namely the coal plant. Wind has a similar story. Like solar with the PV and the CSP technologies, we also have two technologies, onshore and offshore. We cover that in a future video. But for now, what we can retain is that renewable power generation increasingly are compete fossil fuels. The second reason is that renewable energy projects are faster to build. With technology maturing and learning aggregated, construction time have been improving over the last decade. A 10 megawatt solar project, which could be enough to power a medium-sized mine, or maybe supply electricity to up to 40,000 families in Uganda, for example, could be built in less than two years. Do look at the alternative for thermal power. That is to say, your coal or gas fire power plant you'll have challenges in getting it done that quickly. So, when we talk about providing power now, as opposed to tomorrow, to the continent and the world, 
you know what the right choice now is. I left the third reason in the end, as it's kind of obvious. It says in the tin, renewable energy is cleaner, hence clean energy. But how clean? Very few people actually know. Check this picture. Solar produces 10 times less carbon dioxide equivalent emission per unit of electricity than natural gas, the cleanest fossil fuel. As for the other renewable energy sources, you can see they're actually producing even less CO2 than solar, with wind producing about four times less emission than solar. Yes, they are not carbon neutral as some may think, and it's important to say that as well for intellectual honesty. But they significantly reduce the amount of pollution. Let me quickly illustrate that, shall I? The 10 megawatt solar plant that I mentioned earlier will produce about 50,000 units or kilowatt hour per day. According to a figure, by producing this quantity with solar rather than gas, we avoid about 8,000 metric tons of CO2 per year. Is it clear? Let me put it further into context. If you consider that a typical passenger vehicle emits about four metric tons of carbon dioxide per year. This now means that our choice of opting for solar power rather than gas power is equivalent to removing 2,000 cars from circulations. Is it clearer? Brilliant. I know you get it. You are smart. <laughs> Now, you understand why I'm so bullish about driving more renewable energy projects around the globe, right? Was it useful? Did you enjoy it? Give me a thumbs up in the comment below and make sure that you subscribe to our channel, press the bell and spread the word about our channel. This is Tony to you from Renewables in Africa channel and all that I have to say is have a wonderful day and may the sun be with you. Ciao.